In this video, I'm gonna share with you one mindset shift to get you to recovery. When it comes to recovering, probably the most important focus should be on mindset. Recovery is not overnight. And focusing on long-term freedom can be kind of exhausting if you don't know what's happening. And so this mindset that I'm about to share with you will really guide you and really help you focus on long-term freedom. So let's get it started. So when I was struggling with anxiety and I was getting these physical symptoms that really scared me when I started catastrophizing, thinking worst case scenarios, because I genuinely believe that they may happen, when I was getting these intrusive thoughts um, and these feelings of unreality, I had done anything and everything to make this go away. Anything and everything. And I became obsessive about trying to fix this and trying to make it go away. And I did this for so long that once I understood how recovery worked, when I understood how to get out of this, well, I actually had developed a habit, a very bad habit. And so even before focusing on recovery, I really had to focus on this mindset, really kind of cultivating this mindset shift. And the mindset shift goes like this. You don't need to fix this. I'm gonna repeat it. You don't need to fix this. I know this sounds super weird because, <laughs> you know, it can come off as, what do you mean I don't need to fix this? Are you telling me I need to deal with this for the rest of my life? Well, that's actually a fallacy. That's not actually true. And so getting into this gets a little bit kind of complicated. So try to follow me and I'll try to simplify this as quickly as possible and as easily as possible. So look, when I was trying to fix this, I became hyper aware of how I was feeling. Any sort of change, symptom change, new symptom that occurred, I knew it because I was so hyper-focused. And the idea was, well, if I know what's happening, well, then I can make it go away, right? And that's exactly what you're going through too. You're having your symptoms, you're having your sensations, you've gotten everything ruled out by your doctor, but you're not really feeling free from this, so you need to pay attention to it. And the idea is, is that if you can pay attention to it, well, you can do something to make this go away. Right? If you can understand why this is happening, then you can make it go away. Now I get that. Then technically that makes sense, but it also doesn't work. The problem with anxiety isn't the fact that you're hyper aware of it. It's that you're too focused on it. So it's not the idea that you're not focusing on it or that you can't figure things out. It's just that there was nothing there to begin with. And here's what I mean. Struggling with anxiety, it's really easy to think that there's something wrong but you've gotten everything ruled out by your doctor. And so even though you've gotten everything ruled out, why are you feeling these sensations? And so the biggest trick was for me, the thing that every anxiety sufferer doesn't do, which is they don't let it be there. They don't let it be there. Think about it. Anybody that struggles with anxiety, they're always trying to make their symptoms go away. I get it. Nobody wants these symptoms, but what if that's the problem? What if the problem is resisting the symptoms? I get it, I know how uncomfortable it is, but it's actually being caused by your own resistance, right? So you're feeling these symptoms, but you're resisting to them. Now, when I first, un when I first was told this, it, sound kind of, it sounded too ridiculous. It was like, sh like, I knew this wasn't being caused, by my resistance, or at least that's what I thought. It was like, me resisting it doesn't matter. Whether I resist the symptom or not, it's still there. So why does my resistance mean anything? Truth is, it is that it actually means everything. Because you resisting the symptom determines whether it comes back again in the future. So, here's the truth. If you're feeling these symptoms right now, whether you resist or not, it doesn't matter. But it does matter long term. So if you're feeling these symptoms and you resist, well, what happens is that it's gonna come again in the future and it's gonna probably come even more intense. 
and it's probably going to even come even um, longer lasting. Now, look, I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm not looking, I'm not telling you this to be like, oh God, I need to accept this quickly. Okay. I can't resist. I can't resist. That in itself is also a form of resistance, right? Because you're trying not to resist so that you don't feel it, right? This kind of gets a little bit more like the movie Inception, you know, like resistance under resistance under resistance, you know what I mean? So you want to be mindful of that. But the key is really you allowing this to be there determines whether it comes back again or not. And then if you allow it to be there, what happens is that it actually may come in the future, but it will come with a lot less intensity and it will come with a lot less frequency. And what happens is over time it ends up going away. But the problem is, is that when people are struggling with anxiety, they're looking at anxiety the way they look at a headache. I have a headache, I need to make it go away. So I need to take something. Once they understand that a lot of anxiety recovery is letting the symptoms be there, well, they've developed such a habit that letting go of that habit is a problem now and it's not something they can do. So the biggest mindset shift is you don't need to do anything to fix this. Fixing it assumes that there's a problem, but you've gotten everything ruled out. The real problem is how you feel. Now, how you address your feelings is different than how you address a physical sensation or your, how you um, deal with these thoughts are different than how you deal with something medically wrong, which is if you resist them, it persists. That's it. If you resist, no matter how uncomfortable it is, it will come back. But if you just allow it to be there, you don't need to fight this. You don't need to fix this. The body actually processes it faster. The mind processes it faster. And so that's how recovery looks like. And it's one of the things that I spend so much time with my clients really helping them understand. It's one of the first things I show them. Don't fix this. You don't need to fix this. It's very interesting. They, they sign up to work with me to make this go away. And then the first thing I tell them is you don't need to make this go away. It's kind of ironic for them because it's like, well, I'm committed to making this go away. And now you're telling me to have it stay. And so I get it but that's actually the paradox of recovery. That's why anxiety is so counterintuitive. And so if you can understand this principle that you don't need to fix this, you don't need to fix this. That's all you need. It's not, oh, okay, I won't fix this. Yes, Sean, but what about this? Or, but what if, but Sean, I feel like this. No, you don't need to fix this. You can let it be. You can let it be and you'll see for yourself. And then what ends up happening ironically is that when it comes and you don't do anything about it, well, and then it goes away, you realize you never had to do anything in the first place. You fighting it and resisting did absolutely nothing. In fact, it probably kept the cycle alive even longer. So you don't need to do this. If you can cultivate one thing, which is you don't need to fix this. You don't. So I hope this video helped. Uh, it was just a quick mindset that I feel it's very important that isn't talked about enough in the anxiety recovery community. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.